Uh, these are uh, Indian Eskimo stuff. We had bone hooks, ivory, flint. Uh, they would chip that outside, then they would heat it up real hot and get a turkey quill and drip water to make that curve. Flint breaks on a straight line. That's the only way they could make that. These are gorge hooks. They would bait that. The fish would swallow it. It turned sideways in their throat. Uh, they, the line they had back then was jute, cotton, silk, linen. They also used baleen from the whale's mouth. Uh, very strong. It still wasn't strong enough to catch your halibut. How about a big, huge, flat fish from Alaska? They yeah. couldn't catch the big ones because it would break the line. They made these gauge hooks. They would bait that with octopus. The big fish would bite over it and slide off. They didn't want the big fish. They wanted the smaller one that fit their snout inside of there. Bring it up, bonk it on the head with a big old mallet. So how would it, show me again how it would hold the fish. So the, they would bait that with octopus. That's the barb there. The big fish would just... Oh, this, this small part's the yeah, barb. Yeah, that's okay. the barb. The big fish would just bite over it and slide off. They didn't want the big fish. They wanted the smaller one that fit their snout inside of there. Oh, it was a gauge. Like, okay. Because the smaller ones taste better, plus the big ones broke the line. They never got them in in time. So, so that, that filtered out the bigger fish. Yeah. So uh, bone hooks, abalone shell might have been one of your first spoons. Went through the water like that. Uh, these are shells made by the Aborigines. They used shells and they used uh, uh, turtle claws and bear claws for barbs and stuff. 